All right, my friends, I just got done a blues lesson. Um, we were we were doing a little bit of rhythm and comping and then adding some lead on top of it that, that'll pull the listener away. Now, I, I, could, I, I tend to be a blues traditionalist. Um, I don't like um, breaking out of uh, certain blues patterns, you know, and uh, I, I really like some old school player, but I'm going to show players, but I'm going to show you some, some really cool stuff that we were working on today. And one little trick, and I love this little trick, you know, um, like I said, I don't generally use it, but let's just say I'm here in like my A blues, right? This little moving up a half step in that pentatonic and back. Let's just say I was going to uh, play the, the, uh, a lick. Right, so I'm starting here, my fifth fret of the A string, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, and then I get all the way to the, to the fifth fret of my B, right? I can move it up a half step and then back down again. Right, so, so basically on that, when I hit that root note, slide it up, and then slide it back down again. Um, and that just, that'll really, really get the listener to be paying attention. Now, there is just a tiny, tiny little bit of theory rhythmically on, uh, into why that works, not just to, to spark the listener, but if I am playing and I go to my four chord, right, my one chord, I'm just playing the root, right, I'm skipping that A string. So I got my, my A on the fifth fret of my, my E, and then my flat seven, right, my three. Okay, when I go to this, my four chord, my D, right, I can actually substitute, and I might do that, one, two, three, four, do a tritone substitution, the sharp four, down to the four chord, right? Okay, and then even back up, back into my one chord. Now, that means when I am playing, and I bring this up a half step when I get to that sharp four, bring it back down into my regular position when I get to my four chord, right? Now, if I'm looking at this modally, I'm in my blues, right? Why I would bring it up a half step there, because I'm not just moving up a half step from my A, right? Um, is because if I go to that dominant, right, I'm playing that, that off of that dominant, Right, that sharp four is sort of like my sharp one Dorian, right? Is modally what works there. So I really do like using this pentatonic as a bridge into the four chord. And I'll add that natural six on that four chord, right? I'll add that natural six as, as a chord tone. I might even slide into it. Gives me like that sort of minor third to um to natural third to my to major third on that um on that four chord so that's where it's coming from and then we can also do it if we really like right moving it down a half step when i drop that and do my tritone substitution my four chord tritone substitution half step back into my one now if i'm going to play that my my substitutions if you can see what i'm doing here I have my one chord, right? And I have my flat seven and my three, as far as my one chord is concerned, my A. If I bring those down a half step, what was my flat seven now becomes my three, and what was my three now becomes my flat seven of my four chord. But these two notes, right, of my A, my one chord, my flat seven and my three can stay exactly the same. They become my three and my flat seven of my tritone substitution and then bringing it back down. Now this is the same thing here. My four chord, I got my three and my flat seven over my four chord. And then when I switch to the tritone substitution, which is a half step below the one, getting back into the one, on my four chord, three, flat seven. I now switch that, it's flat seven, three. Back into my one, it sounds like this. I'm just gonna do it with a pick, but. natural there just try to keep it as simple as possible and then tritone substitution into the five walk it down to the four tritone substitution into the one 
back into the five. That's what it sounds like. So there is some really cool ways that you can um, use that for those little measures. You know, if you're, if you're sort of playing to, to right, that, that little measure when you're doing, you know, kind of bring, bringing it up a half step. Um, what is also really cool when we're doing any of that is if you take wherever your, your starting chord is, wherever your one chord is, take that tritone, bring it down a half step for the four, and then up a half step from the one to, uh, to the five chord. So let's just say I'm still in A. And I want to play something that's a little bit, um, I don't know, a little higher, a little funkier. Maybe there's there's like a, a Barry Sax solo or something. Like that. So I want to get a little bit like higher in the spectrum. I could take this. This is like my D7, right? My D7 version of an A7. Okay. And I'm going to take my tritone. So I've so I've got here my A, my seventh fret of the D string, seven nine eight nine, and that would be my root. Five flat seven three, my flat seven three, my tritone, right? That's my A seven. Down a half step for the four, back up for the one. Down a half step for the four. I'm just playing the tritone. Up for the one. Up to the five. Down a whole step to the four, and then another half step to my one. And if I really want to look at where those chords are, I have my D7 version of A, my tritone. When I bring that down a half step, that actually turns into this sort of A7, right? A7 version of my D7. Right, and back up again. So you see that flat seven and three of my A7, right? And then three flat seven of my D7. And that just means anything that I'm doing for the four, up a whole uh, a whole step to that E7. Check that out. See if some of that that um, see if some of that works for you. Like some of the other comping stuff that we were doing. Uh, if I want to get back in a, a little darker, right? I can I can add these wherever I have my flat seven in my A. Bring it down a half step to the six, and then back up again. Tritone substitution into my four. It's so now my flat seven. I can bring it down a half step up to my root of my four chord. So adding these things in, you know, uh, of course, becoming a more versatile uh, rhythm player. Is, is definitely going to be crucial. Um, a lot of people sort of forget um, about really expanding their comping and their and their sort of rhythmic knowledge. Um, and then this also helps open up the the um, the neck. If I am playing, I can. You know, wherever it is I am, I can I can sort of visualize these chords to play. So um, it was just a fun blues lesson that I had. I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you guys soon.